Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and I'm using my nine card spread again and uh, you're very well, I'm glad you're back my cyber angel and thank you for the likes you came in sixth with Sagittarius with 26 votes and um, great thank you very much I appreciate all the likes and um, if you're new and you've just landed on this channel then welcome and I hope you will enjoy this reading and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are lo uploaded and of course I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday give out free cards and I also answer questions with that are supported with a donation that is super chat or a uh, super sticker okay um, you can find more information if you would like to have an extended reading or a one-on-one -on -one reading um, and you can find the details below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner corner where you find a white circle with an eye so let's get started this is the queerance card and also or the uh, that's I'll leave that up to you because this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign or the overall energy this is Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday and Sunday for those that um, I have just landed here on the channel and all the corner cards are uh, clarified uh, by the tarot and vice versa the lemon will clarify the three cards okay then i've got the white witch's tarot the archangel michael and the answer of the angels we'll get back to those cards in a minute the first card that you have is temperance cancer and temperance could be also representing a Sagittarius you might be out of sorts you might not be in, uh, in balance with yourself because that's what temperance means there might be too many temptations because the word tem temperance um, to me comes or speaks to me as temptations so there might be too many temptations around uh, so that you cannot keep balance between work and home life perhaps there's a lot of celebrations going on because we are in cancer and there could be a lot of friends or you could be having your birthday happy birthday by the way if anybody any cancer has a birthday this week and we are nearly at the energy of Leo so you might be even feeling that and that might be bringing you out of whack as well so temperance means watch out for temptations don't burn the candle at both ends because you will lose your balance you might want to get balance between heart and mind or heart and soul but you could also be wanting financial balance or balance between work and the home front okay so be aware of staying in balance and trying to stay in balance perhaps you are in balance but you are so active look at all the fire it is a fire energy so action 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 so don't uh, uh, tempt your be tempted to fall into temptation of being thrown out of balance you make the decisions stay in your little red boots stand with two feet on the ground okay then we have on Monday discretion discretion means being discreet perhaps uh, play the cards close to your chest Ooh, and wait for the right moment try to get another perspective in the traditional tarot this uh, discretion card is judgment okay judgment a new beginning a second chance perhaps somebody from the uh, from the past um, uh, or in a relationship and you've had a break breakdown in the relationship uh, you might have a second chance of reconciling okay that is if you want perhaps somebody from the past might come back perhaps you left a job and you um, ooh, you uh, discovered that you 
um, didn't make the right decision so you went back and asked for your job back so this is a second chance at the same job a new beginning perhaps things might get better because you've got a different perspective perspective because this is represented by the bird, the owl, the wisdom, you might have had time to think about something and you've thought about it and you're going back trying for that second chance and the 20 becomes a 2, second chance, okay? and it could be also to do with balance because you have been uh, feeling out of whack perhaps that now you have uh, taken time out and you've got a different perspective and you're going back to where you came from you're having a second chance okay now then you on Wednesday you have number four you're definitely in in balance and proper foundations you're building proper foundations if you are doing something new then you've got proper foundations this will be steady and this will be strong and this will this new thing or second chance will be with you for a long time okay the emperor means you might have seeked advice about getting balance from a father figure or a mature man that you respect or uh, somebody professional this could be a psychologist this could be a, uh, a social worker this could be a lawyer this could be like I said a father figure or a man from an institution or a municipality Wow the Emperor does also represent an Aries perhaps you spoke to somebody that is an Aryan and they said well why don't you do this or twig that and bring yourself back into balance don't be scared try and get a different perspective and then go back and talk and that is what you might perhaps you've done that with the employer you went to speak to your employer perhaps it was a man that was your employer okay is definitely a man of uh, well read and that is quite professional and is also caring because he also represents the father figure he is the head of an institution the emperor is higher than the kings and he knows how to rule he knows how to be empathic if need be now that was on Wednesday on Friday you've got the Queen of Wands so you might meet a Sagittarius uh, or an Aries or a Leo but the Queen of Wands does dominantly uh, represent Leo now she is as strong as a lion and she is feline like because she um, she knows what she wants she's creative she has strong passion uh, she is creative and she will create a way to get what she wants and to get it right she will jump on it like a cat like a lion she will jump on on her prey and she has the balance she uses her wand to balance Wow, she's strong, she knows how to plan, and she's logical. She doesn't accept BS from nobody, she'll show her claws. Okay, so if uh, you're not meeting up with a, a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries, then you will take a page out of her book. It might be you. You will abide your time, you will get your balance, you will use your wand you will use your creativity and you will only show your claws like she's got claws but the cat has claws as well when need be it takes quite a bit for you to get angry because you are also cancer and cancer are caring and gentle they're not as swift as the fire signs okay you are water so you can damp you can dampen things you can hold on to something and wait and pounce like the cat so that's the feline side of the queen 
you can take a leaf out. You are you are more balanced than the fire signs in some respects. Okay, because the fire signs, if you make them angry, it, up to a certain per, uh, point, but they will get angry much quicker and they'll jump much quicker than a water sign. So if you are Cancer um, with rising or moon sign fire, then yeah, you can calm. If you're a sun sign, then it most most probably be calming uh, the rest of the signs. Okay, but it, you are more than just a Cancer. Remember, you are made out of planets, minerals, uh, planets, uh, solar systems. It depends what it says in your chart. But you'll definitely reach ultimate happiness at the weekend because you've got the Ten of Cups represented by ten paint pots. The Ten of Cups. And look at there, you've got the crab, Cancer. So, you are predominant in the reading. You will be feeling ultimately happy at the end of the week at the weekend perhaps reunions with family and friends perhaps you might have had a job offer perhaps you've got something to celebrate the ten of cups is also celebration you have found your balance and you know what you want and you have learned you're abiding your time and you wait you get your different perspective and you sit there like the cats or you fly above it you get a helicopter view and boom that is exactly what the owl does as well like the cat he will swoop down from the clouds and jump on his prey so be quiet okay play the cards close to your chest that's what I said in the beginning as well. I didn't know why, but now it's come out. So, get your balance. Move gently and swiftly and elegantly like a cat and the owl. Use your wisdom. You catch more flies with sugar. I don't know what this means. It's, um, I'm... But I'm, I'm getting this in my head. You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. So you can pie anybody. If this is to do with um, uh, flirting or charming somebody, that could be the Emperor, the Aries, or it could be um, Wands, the Queen of Wands, that's a Leo, whether it's female or male it doesn't matter those are an or a Sagittarius so if you want to pie somebody be like them be like you, you know just look at the movements of a of a cat and then think of a panther they're so agile and so gentle and so like a ballerina so just be gentle and smooth and then boom be the surprise Okay, it's going to be happy, happy, because you've got the sun here as well. You might take your relationship up to the next level, or you might get a promotion, like I said. Your work like life might be going up to the next level, because you've got the sun and you're in the spotlight. And uh, the spotlight also means that something it will be illuminated. There is the, you might have a question or a situation that will be illuminated and um, you need to do a little bit more research so ask for help that's what you are doing well done this card also means uh, fertility so if you want to get pregnant this is a good time to get pregnant ooh fire passion boom 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 here you go it's quite dominant and Aries is also a fire sign so you've got three fire signs out of the f uh, five okay and this is a fire sign this is the Leo this is the cat so it could be a Leo that could be interested in you okay boom 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 something is going to be stable proper foundations again a number four so you've got two number fours the angels are with you 
and you've got two two twenties here two two so that is also an angel number whether it's 22 or 2020 balance and again two and two makes four wow so four and two is significant in your reading again a new beginning this is an ending new beginning because 10 becomes a one and here you've got 40 and I haven't even seen that because I haven't got, uh, got that far yet and luck is on your side 25 will become 7 so if you want to get fertile then now is uh, if you want to get pregnant then now is the time uh, but I would say between now and in the time of Leo you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or a new project new job and the next level up in a job or relationship Ooh, nice one you might be moving home you might be moving in with a Sagittarius um, an Aries or a Leo but don't um, Leo here but don't forget um, oh well you've got all air signs look at this now I'm waking up boom you've got Leo you've got Aries and Sagittarius Sagittarius no hang on a minute Aries Leo and Sagittarius and you've got Leo here so Leo is predominant okay and you've got the ace of Pentacles look at that so that could be a rice money a house that's the ace of Pentacles but you could also be getting involved with a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus there might even be a second chance because you've got discretion okay you've got judgment in the traditional tarot so, and that is Gabriel blowing life into the rising dead so somebody could be coming back from the past okay now we're going on to the next corner so this is somebody that could come back from the past they might throw you out of balance but you're maintaining uh, the balance it could be just a, a passion ti passionate time just to pop back into the past but this could be a reunion because this is what the ten of cups also means like the ten of pentacles well more so the cups than the pentacles happy families re a reunion with family and friends a new beginning so there could be a second chance these two are new beginnings but this one means second a, a time round. This also means a second, uh, a second time. Three new beginnings in this way. Okay, and this will be durable and for long term, and could be with an earth sign. They might even ask you to um, to get married. They might propose to you. Like I said, a next level in the relationship. Okay, or they might ask for forgiveness. there will be a new bond and you've got the ace you've got the ace of wands the ace of clubs here All right so that could be with the fire sign as well Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay boom a new beginning a new passion like I said this could be passion be careful passion doesn't last so don't get hurt if it is the second time round okay make sure you don't burn your bridges know your boundaries let them know what your boundaries are make sure they're not wearing a mask uh, or that you are not wearing a mask because it could be for long term a good foundation so long you're honest and open and you keep on communicating and you say what you want and find out what they want then you can have respect towards each other and then it will be built on proper foundations four 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 three fours so have a look or google it four four or four 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 or you have the 2020 or two two <coughs> um, yep so those are your numbers two twenty two two or twenty twenty or four 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 okay those are your numbers that are significant wow 
you might sit, want to seek advice if somebody is coming back and you might want to go to your father or to another person what do you think I should do? do you think I should go back? and discuss that where is the balance? where is your borderline? do they know what your borderline is? you know? where do you draw the line? because you don't want to get burnt again okay? boom that's not nice that's a broken heart but that's another and that's another time you're going into quick swift active action steady but surely sh uh, surely but you've got a lot of fire so there is a lot of action a lot of passion don't get burnt out and don't burn the candles at two ends like I said maintain your balance now you have from the white witch's tarot which is the only the large arcana um, you have the star so that represents Aquarius that is an air sign wow okay I forgot this card I just seen it I know I know I'm hearing you don't worry don't shout your goal or your wish is coming true so somebody here wants somebody to return and it's more than likely they will but you have to first get the balance get the foundations and put off the masks and learn to communicate and know what each other's want and then start building on that foundation again this card is the garden the garden was used to meet up with people present people so you might be going to presentations meetings gatherings celebrations family and friends okay but you could also meet somebody um, from the past reunion the guardian also means the garden means also reunion so if somebody is coming back from the past unexpectedly or expectedly be aware forewarned is forearmed that will only give you more strength okay now <laughs> I did not sort out these cards I never do and I didn't even know this card was here the purple card means spirituality okay perhaps you've been manifesting this because manifestation meditation um, visualization has all got to do with spirituality perhaps you have been really doing your homework with manifestation visualization or manifestation and contemplation I will blow your mind cancer passion follow your heart don't let your heart rule your mind and don't let your mind rule your heart be aware and keep the balance but this is all passion sorry fire 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 right the Sun is fire fire here the cartomancy sign but this is the earth sign but the Sun is fire passion you've got the golden key Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key this sacred key allows you to follow your divine life purpose whether it's in love or in career don't let your passion burn you out you might have you might have like I said you might have left a job or left a business and you're getting a second chance so maintain the balance and will you succeed will there be a yes definitely because there's two yeses in the answer of the angels and you've got the yes with the exclamation mark and that means definitely wow this is really a magical reading and I say magical I hope this is what you've been longing for will come true please like and share this video with family and friends and remember your wish is coming true 
your goal. You hold the key in your you hold the key to balance, to your passion and to your boundaries, your borderlines. Don't let anybody cross your border. Don't let anybody come into your kingdom if you don't want them to be there. Wow. This is big time. Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm flabbergasted. I'm only the interpreter and the messenger. And e every time something happens like this, I'm still astounded. And I'm glad because that means that I'm still fresh and I'm open to learning new things. Thank you for being here and sharing this with me. I hope you enjoy your week and take care and God bless and be blessed. Please give us the thumbs up. I love you all and I hope to see you in the life Monday, Wednesday and Friday or Friday or all nights. I'll put out notifications on Instagram and Facebook and Remember, I just did say last week I'm going to give up the competition, but there will be a new upstart for the competition on the vision board. I don't know how because, uh, or when, but if you are making a vision board, then make the vision board, then you've already got it done and you'll experience the results of it. So enjoy that and I'll get back to you ASAP. Love you all, take care and be blessed. Please like and share. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Ciao, ciao.